Dead End Road. There is a small community in the southern part of the metro that wants to put gates up on public roads. The town of Foxfield says it's fed up with the traffic. Foxfield sits right in between Centennial and Parker, where Arapahoe Road and South Parker Road intersect. And that is where Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is tonight. Russell, Foxfield is just saying no more shortcuts. Yeah, Shannon, what drivers are doing is turning off of Parker Road right here and going into this neighborhood rather than taking Parker up to Arapahoe Road because of the congestion on that very busy road. So Foxfield wants to put a gate right here, right across here. The problem is this is a public road. Maybe you've never heard of the town of Foxfield, but thousands of drivers know it well. I think people discovered driving through Foxfield. Using it as a shortcut to get from Parker Road to Arapahoe. Because traffic's always really backed up getting off of Parker, so I just go through this neighborhood and it saves a lot of time. But for those who call Foxfield home... It's super frustrating. The town of about 800 is now proposing gates at two main entrance exit points blocking access during the morning and evening rush. A lot of pass through traffic. Check out how many we encountered in the span of 15 minutes or so. Just passing through. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Do you live in this neighborhood? Do you live in this neighborhood? No. Do you live here? No. Just passing through? Okay, thanks. Do you live in this neighborhood? No. Just passing through. Okay. Everybody is passing through. It's crazy. Then finally. Do you live here? You do? A local. I'm in favor of the gates. Karen Christensen is all for blocking access. Because there's no sidewalks. So are some of her neighbors. Because we live on a major street and it's hard to get out and take my kids to, to school in the morning and it's hard to get in our driveway during peak hours. But the city of Centennial maintains the roads, including plowing, and has some serious concerns. We always want to work with our neighbors, but we do have concerns with the traffic. Their citizens use our roads, our citizens use their roads. While the plan is controversial, even these time savers can respect it. I can understand not wanting a bunch of cars going through their neighborhood, especially when they can't always guarantee that people are going the speed limit. Also, South Metro Fire says the gate would have to be equipped with some sort of key box that they could access in emergency situations, or the gate could have an automated system where it raises automatically when emergency vehicles approach. Um, there are also questions about delivery drivers and even visitors to the neighborhood. So obviously still a lot of unanswered questions. Foxfield has no contracts at the time, at this time, for the gate. We're live in Foxfield, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Thank you, Russell.